Second Life 2020, our honest review. Are you looking for a new virtual world to explore? Well, Second Life might just be what you're looking for. In today's video, we're gonna be giving our honest review on the world called Second Life. We'll give you a lowdown on the pros and cons of Second Life and help you decide if it's worth checking out. If you're interested in keeping up in the world of the metaverse, make sure you join MetaHub by subscribing now. We're gonna keep you up to date on the latest developments and show you the incredible potential of this digital universe. So don't miss out, become a part of this amazing experience and be among the first to explore the incredible world of the metaverse. Ready to enter the virtual world of Second Life? If you're not familiar with the virtual reality world, it's a digital space where users can create and customize avatars, interact with other users, and explore a vast and immersive world. It can be a refreshing escape from reality, but is it worth your time and energy? Well, we'll dive into the advantages and disadvantages of Second Life and give you our honest opinion on whether you should give it a try. Are you ready to enter the wild and wacky world of Second Life? If you're not familiar, it's a virtual world where you can create and customize your own avatar and explore a vast immersive online world. But here's the catch, it's not just a bunch of boring office buildings and shopping malls. Oh no, in Second Life, you can be anyone or anything you want to be. Want to be a dragon that runs a virtual bakery? You can do it. A mermaid real estate mogul? You can do that too. The possibilities are endless, or at least as endless as your imagination allows. To get started, all you have to do is download the viewer from the Second Life website and create an account then let your creativity run wild as you customize your avatar to your heart's desire. And once you're all set up and ready to go, it's time to explore the virtual world. There are tons of different regions, or sims, to check out, each with its own unique theme and activities. There's even a virtual economy where you can earn and spend virtual currency called Linden Dollars. Why would you want to join such a world? Well, Second Life has numerous benefits to you being there. As we mentioned before in this online community, you can create and customize your own avatar any way you want. But it's not just about being whoever you want to be. Second Life is a great place to interact with others from all around the world, making new friends, joining groups and communities, and participating in a variety of activities. It's especially great for those who don't have as many social opportunities in the real world, or for those who just love the sense of community and belonging that comes with participating online. But don't worry, there's more to Second Life than just socializing. There's a whole wide world of activities and experiences to explore, from shopping at virtual stores to playing games and attending virtual classes or workshops. The best part is that you get to fully immerse yourselves in these activities and experiences, thanks to the immersive nature of the virtual world. So if you're looking for a unique and immersive virtual world you can express yourself and have a ton of fun in, consider giving Second Life a try. What are some of the drawbacks to this virtual world? Do you find this interesting and want to learn more about intriguing topics like these? Then make sure you leave a like and join MetaHub by subscribing. Well, let's get real for a minute. Second Life might be a world full of virtual possibilities and immersive experiences, but it's not all sunshine and rainbows. There are a few drawbacks to consider before diving in. First and foremost, it takes time and effort to create and maintain a presence in Second Life. Customizing your avatar and building and decorating a virtual home or business can be a time-consuming process. Let's not forget about all the activities and events you want to participate in. They can be super fun, but they require a time commitment. Just make sure you're prepared to put in the work if you want to get the most out of Second Life. Another thing is the cost. Sure, the viewer and base account are free, but if you want to upgrade your avatar's wardrobe or give your virtual home a makeover, you'll need to fork over some virtual currency called Linden Dollars. And these purchases can add up quickly, so make sure you're keeping an eye on your spending and not going too crazy with the virtual cash. What are some activities that you can do in Second Life? Do you want to explore the endless possibilities of Second Life? Great, because as we mentioned, this virtual world has a ton of activities and experiences to keep you entertained. Like we said before, there's socializing. Whether you want to meet new friends, join groups and communities based on shared interests, or just chat with others, Second Life has you covered. If you're a gamer, don't worry, there's plenty for you to do too. Second Life has a thriving gaming community and a bunch of games available to play. From simple games of chance to more complex role-playing games, there's something for everyone. Let's not forget about shopping. There's a robust economy where users are able to earn and spend Linden dollars. You can Use this virtual cash to spruce up your avatar's wardrobe, give your home a makeover, or pretty much anything else you can think of. For art and music lovers, don't worry. The virtual world is home to a thriving art and music scene with galleries, venues, and other cultural events. There's a whole world of activities and experiences waiting for you in Second Life. Are there any more serious activities to participate in? Second Life is known for its socializing, gaming, shopping, and art scenes, but it's not all just fun and games. The virtual world can be used for more serious purposes like education and business. For education, Second Life can be a super useful tool for creating virtual classrooms and workshop. Imagine no more trying to wrangle a group of rowdy students into one physical location. Now you just log on to Second Life and teach away. Plus, virtual field trips are a thing in Second Life, so you can take your students on all sorts of exciting adventures without leaving the comfort of your own computer. As for business, Second Life can be used for all sorts of things, like holding meetings and conferences, training employees, or even creating virtual storefronts to showcase and sell products or services. It's especially great for businesses that operate globally because it allows them to connect with customers and employees from all around the world. 
So what have we learned from this amazing virtual world? Well, Second Life is a place where users can customize their own avatar and experience a vast online world, filled with a variety of activities and experiences. In Second Life, users can be anyone or anything they want to be and participate in activities like socializing with others, playing games, shopping at virtual stores, exploring art and music, and using the virtual world for educational and business purposes. To get started, users can download the viewer and create an account on the Second Life website, then customize their avatar and begin exploring the virtual world. Second Life has a unique and immersive experience allowing users to express themselves and interact with others, but it requires a time and financial commitment, and there are potential risks associated with participating in an online community. Users should be prepared to put in the effort to maintain a presence in Second Life and be mindful of their spending and personal information. If you're interested, you can check out our next video right over here. Thanks for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, join MetaHub by subscribing now.